Hello! In this video, we will talk about the job search process and introduce you to each of the seven steps in the process. Did you know that the average U.S. worker today holds 10 different jobs before age 40? For younger workers just beginning their careers, that number is between 12 and 15 jobs. This means that workers in the United States and around the world will probably change jobs often. Each time they change jobs, they have to take part in the process known as the job search. Searching for a job is part of career development. It's important to remember that searching for a job is part of a process which takes time and requires several steps. Let's think about the search as a journey on a train. The train will stop at many places along the way to its final destination, just as job seekers complete multiple steps in their job search. In the first step, job seekers need to identify their skills and areas of interest. When looking for a job, you should ask yourself, what am I good at? What do I like to do? What have I studied? Your answers to these questions will help you to create a clear professional profile. In the second step, you create a professional profile. You write information about your education, your past work experience, volunteer experiences, or special training. Your professional profile can also list hobbies and interests that tell more about you as a person. After reflecting on skills and creating a profile, it's time to start looking for a job. There are many places to search for jobs online, in newspapers, and in person. In the third step, job seekers will need to read and understand the advertisement or job description. Then decide if their skills match the job description. In the fourth and fifth steps, the job seeker moves into the application part of the process. In this part of the process, job seekers send their information to the employer to apply for a job. In the United States, a person will send a resume and cover letter to formally apply for a job. A resume is a written document of one's employment, education, and skills. The cover letter is a formal letter addressed to the employer to introduce the job seeker, show qualifications, and ask for an interview. In addition to cover letters, many people use networking events as a way to introduce themselves to future employers. This is the sixth step in the process. When networking, job seekers talk to many people about their skills and experience in conversations. Networking is focused on meeting people and building relationships in person. Whether it is through a cover letter or a short conversation, job seekers are trying to get an interview for a job. As the seventh step, the job interview is the best chance for the candidates to show their interest in the job and demonstrate to employers how they are qualified for the job. Formal interviews are often in person, but can sometimes be done by telephone or video. In all of these interviews, the job seeker needs to be able to ask and answer questions briefly and clearly. Let's review the job search process. Job seekers begin by identifying their skills and interests, create a professional profile, and read job descriptions. After choosing a job, they write a resume and cover letter to formally apply and request an interview. Job seekers often talk to many people casually in networking events. In a formal job interview, candidates really present their skills to a future employer. Now, let's move on to identifying skills and interests.